Uh, so now, uh, Emily, uh, mm -hmm. when this whole flag football team first popped up for uh, Prescott High School, what made you decide, hey, I want to give this a try? Um, my other coach, Coach Zeminski, or Jordy, um, he, I was looking for a sport to do during off-season to keep me fit and have fun for before track. Um, and he told me about flag football, and I was just like, you know, that's a great idea. So I don't know, I just, my coach just convinced me to give it a shot. Okay, so Olivia, same question to you. What made you decide that, hey, flag football sounds like a sport that I want to take part in? Um, if I'm honest, uh, the whole reason I signed up in the first place was because uh, my friend was signing up at the table, and Coach Hart was there, and I felt peer pressured. <laughs> 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 but, um, but like over time, I went to the meetings, and I went to the clinics, and I don't think I've ever had so much fun playing a sport, so I, I just got hooked. Mm -hmm. So, Emily, have you ever had any sort of experience with flag football before now? No. So a whole, a whole brand new world for you, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Olivia, what about you? Any flag football experience before this point? Uh, does elementary uh, PE count? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can play flag football anywhere it counts. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me, yeah. So, so how did you do in your elementary flag football gym class. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> the composition between the boys was always great. Oh, <laughs> trying to beat the guys. Girls, girls be boys. Yeah. Stuff like that. Well, well, hopefully you've gotten better since then. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> so, so coach, uh, now for those not familiar with uh, the way flag football is going to work at the high school level, if you can kind of go over the rules and for anyone who wants to come out and watch these games, what can they expect to see when Prescott High School takes the field this year for flag football? Yeah, great question. Um, from a fan's perspective, it's going to be a lot of fun. There aren't a lot of uh, rules that cause like alignment issues. You can have as many people on the line of scrimmage as you want. Um, the center is eligible to catch a pass along with everyone else. Those are those things make the make the game really fun and kind of easy to play and making sure that, that the game progresses in a fun way for the fans. Uh, another thing is you won't see the chain game running down uh, up and down the field. We have fixed lines that are first downs. So you'll have one at the 20, the 40, the other 40, and the other 20, right? So generally you get the ball at the 30-yard 30 30 line, for for instance, for a touchback. And you start from there and, and try to get, gain your first downs as you go down the field. You have four downs to get to the first down, which is similar. It's got a lot of similarities to normal tackle football, uh, but you can't lay somebody out with a pancake block. you got to get in front of them with your feet and make a, a non-contact screen block, as mm -hmm. they say. Uh, but that's generally the idea. We play four quarters that are 12 minutes each, and uh, – there's eight minutes at halftime, so it's fairly fast-paced, and uh, you're going to see a lot of action out there. We kick field goals uh, and we, and extra points as well, and, and punts are executed. There's no uh, rush on those, so you're not going to have to worry about getting a punt blocked. Uh, but it is uh, akin to the, the boys' game in a lot of ways. Actually, that's what I was going to ask you. If uh, you do have a kicking game in flag football, you just answered that question. And, well, I know before we went on the air, you said that uh, quite a few of the uh, players from the girls' soccer team have come out. So I assume one of them is going to be your kicker. Yeah, that's that's a good point there, John, because uh, it now that the soccer girls have come out, there's at least two or three girls that are confident kicking the football. Uh, they were kicking practice, practice field goals yesterday before we started um, our scrimmage practice yesterday. And they were kicking field goals from the 25-yard line, and they were going through. So it's pretty incredible. We, we feel really blessed and happy and grateful to have those girls coming out and kicking the ball with confidence like they do. So it should make the games exciting. When we need some points and we're not quite close enough to get a TD, we can kick it in there and see what happens. Okay. And I know next week tryouts start for, for you guys. But before then, uh, you did schedule some, some training camps. Uh, some some workout camps just to get uh, girls used to the idea of flag football. Some in the spring, I think there were a couple in the summer. How did those camps go? Yeah, really, really well. We opened up with just kind of an open practice in the evenings in the springtime is what we did. So you can come out and see what flag football is all about. We did some fairly informal practices and a lot of drills just to see you wanted to have some fun. So we did that in the spring for about five weeks, and then we got a little more serious in the summer with our two day clinics. We had two. Uh, two two-day clinics, one in June, one in July, that each were full full days. Uh, so we, we 
had a lot of opportunity there to kind of go through the X's and O's and some of the rules and, and some of our culture ideas and, and character building and team building and getting the girls to know each other. So all the girls that have come to all of those to the extent that they were available over summer, which isn't always easy, they've, they've had a good time, I think, and they've also started to gel as a team. And then we rolled right into our informal practices this last week, which, of course, as you mentioned, were uh, disrupted by the weather. Uh, so it's been up and down, but we have... Uh, had an opportunity to move all the stuff out of the way in the library and run some plays and some formations in there, uh, being out of the rain. So that's been nice. So you you didn't just stay out in the field and just say, hey, if one of my girls gets struck by lightning, she can just get back up and play like Ray Caldwell did in 1919. Yeah, you know, <laughs> pulling a Ray Caldwell would be pretty cool. But we have this app that just screams at us. When the when the uh, lightning's too close, uh, we get ordered to go off the field, and the sirens go off, and you think it might be something really crazy going on. So we get out of there, and we do what we're told and follow what they call protocol, mm -hmm. which I'm learning a lot about at the high school level. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emily, I assume that you took part in some of these uh, summer camps and other camps for uh, flag football, right? Yeah, I participated in the second clinic. Okay, so just tell us your experience, uh, what it was like uh, going through that clinic and I guess kind of getting used to the whole flag football world. It was great. You learn a lot fast. You, you kind of get worried that you're not going to learn it all quick enough, but the coaches do a really good job at like drilling the information in your head and they're ne you never have to be worried about asking questions. They're, they're always open to questions, so I feel I feel very supported if that makes sense. <laughs> So, Olivia, what about you? I assume you took part in some of those camps, too? Yes, I did both of the clinics. And for me, I mean, it's one thing to go and watch siblings or I go to high school um, varsity football games and watch, you know, football. But it's another thing to learn how to really play in it and be in the game. And that was really fun for me is, like, getting all that extra information and knowledge. So what were maybe like one or two things that really surprised you that you felt were kind of unexpected about, you know, taking part in flag football? Ooh, um, <laughs> tough one, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, unexpected things. Probably. Um, I think I thought there were going to be like a lot more girls trying. There are a lot of girls trying out, but I was expecting a lot more because I don't know. I assume that every other girl is as excited for this sport as I was. <laughs> um, but um, I'm kind of grateful that we have a team that's really passionate about it. And we just don't have a lot of random girls that just want to play whatever sport because it makes our team better and it makes team, our team fun. Okay. So, uh, Emily.